spring is in the air, and for some, that means the kids are all at home with nothing to do because <laughs> they're on spring break. Well, if you run out of, if you run out of ideas, of things to do with your kids. We've got you covered with some real cool and inexpensive activities to keep you and the kiddos busy all spring break long. This is Spring Into Fun. Spring oh. Into It, people. Okay, ladies, you know Auntie Lani loves the kids, but what I love even more are cool and unique things to do with them while, when they come over. So here's an idea. Rock painting Ooh. is really inexpensive. It's a creative activity. All you need are some rocks and some paint. Mm -hmm. You can even use a paint pen like so, and you just pick a theme, like inspiring words, or my name, or freestyle it, <laughs> or my name, or boom, and my name, and you're rocking it. <laughs> and you can even inspire others as they walk past. You know, you just put that little, like, look, like that, and it's so simple, and the kids have so much fun. Bam. It helps them with spelling and everything. So, you know, you're creating a small garden. You can, you know, put it in the front of your yard, and you can create a small garden with all your little painted rocks. That's and actually house really cute. Nice. I really that love that. That is super cute, and it's pretty much free for the most part. The exactly. rocks are free, go find them, clean them up. The paint and then the I love it. <laughs> okay, them. now I'm always looking for fun activities to do with my nieces, so here's another cool idea. Gardening, it's love... super easy, affordable, and it teaches responsibility. Growing your own herbs is not only rewarding, but you can also, like it actually comes in handy, like it's a life skill, yeah. technically, and it comes in handy when you're cooking. All you need for this activity are some gloves, like these little cute ones right here. You're gonna need um, seeds, soil, water, and a flower pot. Literally, you guys, this is it. Like, this activity will also teach your kids to have patience as they enjoy watching yes. their seeds grow. Oh, I love that. that. You're drowning Adrian. it. Adrian. You have to go check on it. Just drowning it right there. I clearly don't have a green thumb, folks. My mom should have gardened with me. No. <laughs> hey, that's such a cool idea. I love that. Thank you. All right, another one is creating a time capsule. This is such a fun and thoughtful activity to do with the kids over spring break because it's something that they will remember and maybe even share with all of their kids. So all you need for this activity is like a tube or a box, maybe some of your favorite photos, and then any other memorabilia. Like for me, I love all of my tickets to exotic places that I've traveled to. I like Los Angeles, the city that houses me now, my favorite concert pass, you know, things that like you have memories from. Seal it tight and then just tuck it away like that. And this activity will teach your kids the importance of creating and making memories together, yes, right? I love As it. a family. Yep. How amazing is that? So good. All so these good. ideas are really great. That's fantastic, Jeannie. Okay. Now, as a mom, I've always stressed the importance of reading to my kids. So I am excited to share this next educational activity with our real fam. Okay. For some parents, a trip to the library can be time consuming, which is why I love this idea of a little lending library. So cute. You can make this fancy or as simple as you want. All you need is a storage crate and some art supplies to decorate it, and of course, some books. Yes, right? your yes. book, yes. You can <laughs> hang it on your post or your mailbox or even a tree um, in front of your yard and then let your neighbors know Little Library is open for business and everyone in the neighborhood can share their books. What a fun way to keep the kids busy and create a sense of community. That's what that I love most awesome. about it. That is awesome, so people right? get to add books they to They can it. add books. Yes. to borrow books yes. from it so they can take something and it's genius. I love it. Love that. I drove by a house that did this once, and there was a little line of people excited to get their books because there was a fresh, like, delivery of books. Aww, so cute. So Real awesome. fam, we hope that you enjoy these fun and affordable activities to do with your kids over spring break.